produce with the compositions they have now set forth. Let us know who you think is going to have the edge in this game. We are in the second one of the summer split. Tweet hashtag TDKWin or hashtag TLWin to at LOL Esports, and we will obviously be tallying those up all throughout the game. And get your votes right on the screen at the most pivotal moment, that one fight, <laughs> so you can have a say in it. Keep cheering for the players here in the crowd as but well as... has a little bit late there, uh, making it all the way down to the bottom. Still just with his red buff, though. He knows his bottom lane's going to need some help, and he's hoping the team liquid get a little bit over-aggressive, which Piglet hopping right in. <laughs> the, oh, no. The melee Callista goes right in. Baby going down. He could stay alive. Put on a diaper. Got it. He stays alive. Special's going to stay alive with this one as well as he just makes a few more steps out, but... I don't think Melee Callista is yet to be a thing. Put up in that brush by Team Liquid to make sure they don't get any more cheeky ganks. 71%. Oh, what a nice Emperor's Divide! One last hit! Bishu says thank you very much. That's how you do it right Ooh. there. Phoenix. Up some of that CS deficit. A little bit of a ward volleyball going on here between kez and dominate oh hello phoenix just gets back to lane knowing both summoners were down they put him again in the coffin kez can find himself dead here here's quash on the top lane with a teleport he takes it he's actually about to gnar out as well i don't think he's going to be able to hop over the wall in time to get to the rest of the team but a very nice reaction by team liquid to not lose everything on this actually jat still going in oh. quash with that gnar bar halfway down sarah finds himself in a bad spot both of them should just walk straight up right now and take the high road and it looks like they may actually be caught out continuously quas could get a double kill in this situation here comes kez he's going to try to get to the top side with his call and it does not happen that's a triple kill coming in for quas all together from one teleport you have team liquid choosing to take it good knowledge that they don't get taken out in that situation We've seen this before emperor's divide once again he also isn't on the miasma but it's going to be the twin fangs that just overall is able to do the trick they can't believe it so many flashes what are they doing <laughs> that crazy game right there time with all the flashing going on definite kudos there the dive in latman wanting to get a little bit of melee corky in on to piglet forcing the summoner heal at just the last moment there, very nicely done. They had the ward on and two specials, so they knew. Now to the top lane, Kez and Seraph onto Quas. He's about to gnaw out. Should be able to get a little more sustain for, I should say, tank out of this. And may be able to wallop and hop his way into a safe situation. He does have the roam up from Phoenix. Already has oh! dominated the fast flash body slam into Seraph. Completely throws him out of the mech. Rumble down, and Kez has to turn face here. We already have Phoenix cut off Bishu on the way up, so they're not able to assist in this fight. They're also getting pinched in quite hard. Kez right on the heads of Team Liquid as they come down, but Team Liquid feels that brute force is the way to take this fight. Fate's call goes in, Fate's call goes out. Whoa. You can see a special shot back a little bit. It goes to his attack range. So yep. he does get thrown back. Can't throw the Tibbers out immediately after that. They have to reposition it. Special actually goes down after the fact. And they are going to have to just force back a little bit of the fight. Good kiting there by TDK to pick one up for themselves as well. Yeah, knowing that Latman didn't have his flash, yeah. that prompted the initiation by Team Liquid, but a little bit of an overchase right there. I like that you mentioned that the Fates Call shoots the support back to their attack range, and he with a pretty long attack range as well. Yeah. Got shot back quite far after going in there. Uh, probably threw Team Liquid a little bit off, Right, it looked like, but they're getting a little greedy going for this red buff. Oh, There's the Sarah. close in, Emperor's Divide pushes the team right into the rest of TDK perfectly. It is able, Phoenix is able rather to get one kill before he goes down valiantly. But that was to the hands of Latman who just came up from being dead and he wants revenge. Oh my god. A four man Gnar ultimate into the wall, gets the wall up and hit onto Bishu as well for the kill. And they are able to finally burn him down. Was having quite a game here yeah. for Team Liquid. Everything. I guess there's no hard, but... I think it's already a pretty big problem. Yeah. That's why they need an ideal team fight. So if Team Liquid gets a clean initiation that can stun multiple people, let's say from X Special, uh, Team Liquid could right. make short work. A lot of it will have to do with Dominate knocking them back. You can see here they're, they're hoping to find their window into this dragon. Maybe they force in. Let's see. There's the flash. Tibbers oh coming my. in. Hits Goodness. up. Callista Piglet stealing that with the rend as well. Damage coming in from Phoenix is huge right now. The ultimate pretty much shut down the entire team of TDK. They were just stopped by the beauty of Phoenix. 
and down the board for TDK if they've been able to put anything else in there. Not even Latman with that Blade of the Rune King as well for his Corky. Now heading back towards the Baron. We will see what happens. Baby has that Elixir of Iron, so he's a big baby. Let's see if he drinks that one down for this fight. 35 minutes on the clock. TDK is being pressured into this. Quas again, almost with a perfect bar, ready to gnaw out, and he gets activated actually by that Rumble Ultimate. They are flying right through. He tries to throw everybody against the wall, and it looks like TDK is kind of able to spread this fight. But now that they leave it, oh they don't have enough HP to get where they want. That's going to be one, two, three, possibly a fourth here coming in, looking for the pet to kill for Piglet. Yeah, Piglet. He's going to find Labman. Labman hops over the wall to not give it to him, and Piglet wants it. He oh, has eyes on the prize, and he is heading down the lane. Nobody else is going to be able yeah. to cut this off, and there is just too much distance. No Penta. I I'm going to be interested, actually, just to, on a side note, as yeah. Team Liquid pushes in for the Nexus. Um, the way level ones evolved throughout this NALCS split, because I feel like they almost got a little inbred towards the end of last year, mm -hmm. where they were just kind of accepting what should be done because that's what everyone had been doing. Right. Uh, and there should be some more exploration this year, especially after experiencing MSI. Here we go. Oh, Quas throwing back Baby into the wall. That was his ultimate, and it looks like they may have enough to clean the fight up. Phoenix tries to keep Team Liquid towards the bottom half of this inhibitor, and they're getting some good damage back from TDK. Special goes a little too close. One last hit. That's going to be the slow coming in from Seraph, and they are able to finalize it. And Team Liquid falters on their last inhibitor attack here with two others being down. They could have just waited for minions. Yeah, a Deathcap Void Staff is Woo! here right there. Did a bunch of damage because he was <laughs> able to stay. Bloodthirster to keep himself healthy as well. I don't know if they wanted that back and forth fight. They're going to be able to go right for Piglet. He goes Rend on to Baron, so he gets it for the team no matter what. And it looks like they're going to be able to spread pretty well here. Still looking to see where he went. And Piglet is now on to Kez. Piglet's now on to Baby. Takes him down. That's actually going to be Dominate's kill. As double kill coming in for Piglet beforehand. And they are just going to keep pushing forward. The turrets, we haven't even seen that much from Bishu's Azir. Usually those are set up for a good amount of defense. But they haven't been able to stop these fights. And immediately a teleport coming in from Quas from the base. And they're going to go for the win. Yeah, again, great timing there by Quas with his Narpar. Oh, oh the big little half right at the end. 9-1 kills, because basically, as soon as the Baron was going to go down, Quas was going to be hitting Meganar, so he's going to have it for right. the fight if it's contested anyway. Nice finish there. Took a little longer for Team Liquid. Took a little longer it. indeed. A bit of a falter there at the end as they got a little too excited for the first win of the split, but they do find a smile on Dominate's face there as Team Liquid takes down Team Dragon Knights for their first win. So... Cloud9 and Team Liquid, the two victors in our first two games right here. An first place. Expected victory, yeah, tied first. <laughs> we did it. Team Liquid trying to improve on their third place finish from last year.